On this occasion, Di Hakim's aviary is back with a new resident of the babbler bird. They are Chinese Huame. So what's so special about these birds? Does their allure lie only in their tweets? To find out, let's get acquainted with them. It's the aviary! Finally, our Chinese Huame is off here. I hope it goes well. What are the unique characteristics or stories of Chinese Huame? In Indonesia, the Chinese Huame is known as a competition bird. In the 90s, they were pretty popular. At that time, the Chinese Huame bird competition was very popular among birdsong lovers. And usually, these birds are kept in luxurious cages. But here, we will release them to see their natural character. They will join the other birds. But, you guys take it easy, we will still keep an eye on them. Ready? One. Two. Chinese Huame released at De Hakim's aviary. Oh. There is always one bird that is quick to get out of the cage, while the other is slow to come out. Chinese Huame The name of these birds comes from the Chinese language. The term Huame means painted eyebrows. As we can see, there are white markings around their eyes. The circular markings and lines around the Chinese Huame's eyes are characteristic of them. Considering their reddish-brown fur, their stocky bodies are equipped with broad, round wings and fan-like tails. Do you believe that Chinese Huame, especially males, are fighting birds with such a physical appearance? Yes, behind their calmness, Chinese Huame often react strongly when meeting other Huame. They are physically pitted against each other, and it is not uncommon for these bird-to-bird -bird fights to involve money and stakes. People often make Chinese Huame a bird of complaint in China and Vietnam. I don't know if the habit of complaining about Chinese Huame still exists today. You can check the article that discusses the Chinese Huame fighting via the link in the description. Two other unique things, although Chinese Huame is fighting birds, they tend to be sensitive. Once they feel out of place in a new environment or experience a traumatic event, they experience stress. And if they are stressed, their appetite will decrease and they will not chirp. They also like to hide, so it is not easy to see them in the wild. We can find them in places filled with shrubs, bamboo forests, secondary forests, open forests, gardens, and parks in the wild. Initially, the Chinese Huame was an endemic bird that inhabited China, Vietnam, and Laos before being introduced to Japan, Taiwan, Hawaii, and Singapore. In addition to Chinese Huame originating from mainland China, Vietnam, and Laos, there is also a subspecies that inhabits Hainan Island in China. Birds on the island tend to have an olive color. One other subspecies is the Taiwan Huame which is more gray and have no white markings around their eyes. However, due to morphological differences, now Taiwan Huame is no longer categorized as a subspecies of Chinese Huame. They have stood as a separate species. Regardless, after Chinese Huame was introduced in Taiwan in the 80s, crosses between them and Taiwanese Huame were frequent. The Chinese Huame is a terrestrial bird. To find their favorite food, insects, ants, worms, and fruit, they are often seen foraging among the leaf litter scattered on the ground. The Chinese Huame is a monogamous bird. Chinese Huame couples build nests 1-2 meters above the ground. 
in trees, shrubs, bamboo groves, or hedgerows. The nest is shaped like a large cup of bamboo leaves, grass, and dry twigs. Female Chinese huame will lay as many as two to five eggs, of which the eggs are blue-green and sometimes with spots. Then the eggs will be incubated for about 13 to 16 days. After the eggs hatch, the Chinese huame chicks will be cared for and fed by the female and male parents until they are about two weeks old. In captivity, these birds live an average of 12 and 17 years. Chinese huame is awarded a loud, clear, and long chirping sound. If they are chirping, they will sound for quite a long time. Male Chinese huame can produce a greater variety of tweets than females. They also have a variety of chirping sounds and can imitate the sounds of other birds. Because of their vocal abilities, it is not surprising that bird lovers in Indonesia often include Chinese huame in competitions. If the male has previously rung, his tweets will be more varied when juxtaposed with females. Female Chinese huame tends to emit a series of monotonous sounds that can provoke the opposite sex to join in the chirping. That said, the Chinese huame is a flea-producing bird. Don't worry, the birds at Dehekim's aviary love to wash their bodies in the crystal-clear running water. However, it is just a myth whose truth is worth questioning. See how much fun they had in bathing. Dehekim's aviary now has a pair of Chinese huame. Hopefully, they will breed soon and produce offspring, and I hope this video can also be helpful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.